Hi all, this is Ravens from Digi Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 188. The iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Indian prices have been slashed after iPhone 13 announcement. iPhone 11 has received a price cut of Rs 5000 while the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 has received Rs 10,000 and 14,000 rupees price cut. The new prices are already reflecting on the Apple website. Apple officially discontinues iPhone XR in India. iPhone XR is still available on Flipkart, Amazon India and authorized Apple stores in the country. Nokia will soon launch a new Windows 11 laptop with the camera shutter. It will also announce a new Android 11 Smart TV. Both devices will debut during the Flipkart's Big Billion Days sale. Redmi Smart TV series is launching in India on September 22nd. It will be coming in two sizes, 32 inch and a 43 inch. This TV features a Dolby Atmos, Android TV 11 and many other features. IQ Z5 launch date in India is likely to be out soon. This smartphone will rock with the latest 5G capable Snapdragon 778 processor and IQ Z5 is expected to be on Amazon India exclusively. Nintendo Switch Lite comes with a new feature that it is now possible to connect compatible controllers via Bluetooth. So it has Bluetooth but you just cannot use it for audio. While an audio jack is present on the console, it would be nice to be able to connect wireless headphones instead. Realme Band 2 has been officially launched in Malaysia. This fitness band supports 90 workout modes, a 1.4 inch TFT display, 204 mAh battery, heart rate monitoring and an SpO2 sensor. Realme Band 2 price in Malaysia is 139 RM that is around 2500 Indian rupees. The Realme GT Neo 2 is arriving on September 22nd and these specifications have been officially confirmed by Realme as it shared a couple of posters on Weibo to build hype around the new GT smartphone. The 5000mAh cell on the GT Neo 2 will be the largest yet in the GT lineup and Realme says that it will go from flat to 100% in 36 minutes with 65W charging. Dizo announced the Dizo watch as its first smartwatch. It was made official in India with a price tag of Rs 3,499 that is around $47. Today, Dizo announced its enhanced version of Dizo watch pro. It also unveiled the Dizo watch 2 alongside. Here is all information on the specifications, features and pricing of Dizo watch 2 and watch pro. The Dizo watch 2 has a 1.69 inch TFT LCD touchscreen that offers a 600 nits brightness, which can be customized with 100 plus watch face it has a metallic body with 5 ATM water resistance. And the watch 2 houses a 260mAh battery and the watch can last up to around 10 days. It is also comes with a fitness tracker features such as heart rate tracker, SPO2 monitor, sleep monitor and a 15 sport modes. And the Dizo Watch Pro has a bigger 1.7 inch TFT LCD touchscreen that supports around 320 into 385 pixel resolution and a 600 nits brightness. It can be personalized using 100 plus watch faces. The smart Smartwatch has a 390mAh battery that offers up to 14 days of battery life. The Dizo Watch 2 is priced at Rs 1999 and it can be purchased in hues like Classic Black, Golden Plink, Ivory White and Silver Grey. On the other side, Dizo Watch Pro carries a price tag of 4499 that is around US$61 US and it comes in colors like Black and Space Blue. The two new smartwatches from Dizo are scheduled to go on sale on September 22nd on Flipkart. Oppo will be unveiling ColorOS 12 based on Android 12 on September 16th. Ahead of that, Oppo has announced an early access program for three smartphones. In fact, the firm has already started recruiting testers. According to the official Weibo account of ColorOS, Oppo and OnePlus has opened registration for ColorOS 12 early access initiative in China. Anyone with the Oppo Find X3 Pro and OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro can enroll in this program. In order to participate, the Find X3 Pro should be on firmware version 8.27, while the OnePlus 9 series require firmware version A.10. The registration has started at 11 am Chinese time and will close by 12 am tonight. Xiaomi 11T and 11T Pro flagships have been launched globally. Xiaomi 11T Pro ships with a Snapdragon triplet processor, while the Xiaomi 11T is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 chipset. Xiaomi's 11T price starts at 549 euros, that is approximately Rs 43,300, while the 11T Pro starts at 649 euros, that is approximately 56,400 Indian rupees. 
The Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G new edition is one of the three phones Xiaomi announced at its global launch event today. The phone joins already announced Mi 11 Lite 5G and Mi 11 Lite 4G as the third mid-range phone in the Xiaomi 11 series. Now let's see specifications of Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G new edition. It comes with a 6.55 inch Full HD plus 98 AMOLED display with a 1080 pixel resolution. And it comes with an HDR10 plus and a Dolby Vision. This is a centered punch hole that houses a 20 megapixel camera camera and it also has a 360 degree ambient light sensor. And Xiaomi has replaced the Snapdragon 780G processor with the Snapdragon 778G processor. You will be getting a 64 megapixel primary rear sensor and an 8 megapixel of ultra wide angle camera and a 5 megapixel of tele macro camera. It supports up to 4250mAh battery that supports for 33 watt fast charging. The Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G new edition is priced at 369 euros for the 6GB RAM and a 128 GB version and 399 euros for the 8 GB RAM and a 128 GB storage version. There is an 8 GB RAM version with 256 GB of storage but its price was not revealed. Xiaomi has finally launched its latest tablet for the global market. The tablet is dubbed as Xiaomi Pad 5 which is in line with the company's recent decision to drop the MI brand. The Pad 5 is no different from the China's variant but Xiaomi is not bringing the Pad 5 Pro to the global market. Now let's see about the specifications. Xiaomi Pad 5 comes with 11 inch LCD screen with a resolution of 2516 to 1600 pixels and a high refresh rate of 120Hz and a contrast ratio of 1500 is to 1. This light is also set to support hardware anti-blue light and true color display functions. In order to deliver a premium audio experience and video experience, the Pad 5 supports Dolby Atmos. It also features four built-in speakers. Xiaomi Pad 5 is powered by a Snapdragon 860 processor paired with a 6GB of RAM. This light comes in two storage options, 128GB and a 256GB. And Xiaomi also introduced a Xiaomi Smart Pen, a stylus pen featuring a two-button design of which the main button supports quick notes and switching brushes while the secondary button supports long pressing to take screenshots and switching colors. And this smart pen will be sold separately. At the Xiaomi's launch event, Xiaomi unveiled three new smart accessories. The MI Smart Projector 2 leads the pack which includes the Xiaomi Mesh System AX3000 which is a pack of two and the MI Smart Band 6 NFC with an Alexa support. The MI Smart Band 6 was first introduced in March last year with several innovative features such as SPO2 function as well as other health tracking features such as sleeping and stress level detection. The new version differs from the model only on the NFC support its features. The MI Smart Smart Band 6 NFC will retail for 54.9 euros in euro. And now let's see about the MI Smart Projector 2, which it claims that it is a portable home cinema. The projector boosts a 1920 into 1080 Full HD resolution and adopts a compact size. The projector comes with a Dolby Audio support, delivering crystal clear audio quality across all sound sources. The MI Smart Projector 2 carries a retail price of 599 euros. And Xiaomi Mesh System AX3000 is designed to to power whole home with the smart devices. It offers strong and reliable dual band Wi-Fi 6 network coverage of up to 4000 square feet, making it possible to cover multi four apartments as well. It also supports a maximum number of connections up to 254 devices. The Xiaomi Mesh System AX3000 Pack of 2 will start at 149 euros. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.